Hello, good day, you beautiful midgets. Before we start this video, I just want to say RIP mm, Live yeah. Long Juice World. We lost a big one this weekend on Sunday. I'm sorry to hear the news. I made the bandit montage because I liked the song and I was really getting into his unreleased songs. And I was really liking them because they had this like really gloomy mood in them. And it was just great. It fits me, you know what I mean? Because I'm emo. No, I'm joking. But it was really, really nice to be able to like, uh, just like watch all these interviews and just to see how far he came along with his career. He was just getting started. Sadly, we lost a big one. And condol you know, like condolences to his family, really. And to, to anyone who was a really big fan, I can't say I was a huge fan, but I, I do want to say that I did like him a lot. He had super huge potential to blow up and be like, to me, he was like the, the next X because X had also that type of gloomy music and so did Juice, but he, I don't know, his was like a little bit more upbeat. But nonetheless, though, they did a really great job and it's kind of sad how he called his own death. Anyways, guys, let's get into the video, though. Season 1 is officially gone, season 2 is here, has been for a while. I just wanted to kind of wait a little bit to make this video because I wanted to, you know, see if season 2 was really good. Was it worth my money? And I could tell you it is worth my money, just like season 1. Season 1 was also worth my money. Really, in my opinion, every season pass is worth your money because you get so many things for just 10 bucks. Like that is crazy. If you try to get the ICR right now, for example, you could spend 10 bucks and you still wouldn't get it. But on the other hand, you get the season pass, you're for sure gonna get the things as long as you grind the game. Simple. So my opinion, every season pass is really worth it unless they have like freaking grenade and the freaking tactical equipment skins just in the, in the whole season pass. If that was the case and you, that would not be worth it. Anyways, let's get into the character section of the season. So season one gave us Ghost, the Ghost skin, which I believe is one of the most beautiful skins and just like classic, it's just a classic skin. Nothing too flashy, nothing too special. It's just like in the user. If you played like Modern Warfare and all that stuff, like then this skin would be really nice. It's just like memorabilia almost. And season two gave us the Jade Ruin skin, which is a really nice skin, but just seeing it everywhere and every match ranked pubs everywhere is giving me a headache. So, but it's still a nice skin. Alex Mason, on the other hand, is kind of underrated. Nobody really is using that skin, but I do love it. I believe that it is a nice thing that they gave us Alex Mason from Black Ops 1. Beautiful skin, honestly, really nice little touch they gave it so now getting into the weapon section we have the type 25 pinstripes red action ak-47 and the asm 10 skin that nobody ever used like literally ever okay maybe once or twice i use it honestly i really do i still use it to this day but it's just like it, the asm 10 is just a forgotten weapon honestly but now it's kind of making a comeback which is really nice season two gave us or gives us the cqb m4 Glacier AK-47, Glacier Arctic 50. Those two Glacier skins are, are bomb also, by the way. So I believe you should get the Season 2 pass, but hear, hear me out. It's just kind of weird that they gave you they gave us two Glacier skins. But like I said, nonetheless, it's cool running around with a block of ice on your hands. Also, CQB M4, we'll find out. M4 is really not the best weapon. It's kind of weak, but it's really good at range if you... I don't know, if you have patience, I guess. But honestly, CQB M4, the M4 was just a weird choice for me. You get two M4s at tier 100 from the season two pass. It makes me feel weird. We, we get the Aurora Borealis or some shit. And you also get the CQB M4, which is just weird. Like, why would you get two M4? Also, the backpacks you get in season one, you get the G series backpack, which is this one on screen, the green backpack with the ghost little skin on there. And it's really nice, the little ghost logo. And season two gives you the Alaska backpack, which is kind of a weird backpack. Like it makes sense because it's like winter, winter theme, but it's just still like weird. So Papa Duck, which one is your favorite season? My favorite season, my guy, is season two. Season two is amazing. 
But season one still has that special place in my heart. Special place in my heart. Pat, pat, pat. Beautiful season. But season two takes the cake. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video.